guys and warm welcome back to the channel. My name is Grace if you're new here and this is the Rusty Thicket and I am so excited for today's unboxing. So um, a quick story about these stickers. I have had these designed since before Christmas, before I went back to Tennessee over the holidays. Um, I probably had them uploaded and sent to sticker app and like fully purchased part of the way through February. But anyway, um, to no fault of anybody except for maybe the fact that I live out here in the middle of nowhere, they are just now getting to me. Um, the post office had them in a loop. It was a whole thing. I spent quite a bit of money on these. This is my full lineup for this year. And I just feel like it really completes kind of my my whole vibe this time around. Um, I very much wanted everything to have a theme, like a an inside of Goblin Core as a whole, but like its own little theme. And this year it was called Forgotten Garden. So a lot of these stickers are sort of garden-esque and, you know, overgrown and maybe rusty, stuff like that, that I really wanted to incorporate this year. So I'm so excited to open these. I think, so uh, I did a couple of things I've never done before. I made a few shiny. Uh, one is sparkling. Hopefully it looks exactly what it should look like. Um, one is like holographic. One is, or no, two of them are completely clear stickers, which I've never done before. And the other one is like a semi clear, like a little bit of a transparent look. Here's an interesting sticker from Sticker App this time around. They always send you like a little random thing. Um, oh, it's like a, you stick them on stuff to get people to shout at things. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Thank you, Sticker App. That's cute. Okay. Um, let's see. What do we want to start with? Ooh. Okay. So this one is the kind of semi-transparent one. It's the uh, mason jar with... Um, fireflies, lightning bugs, whichever one that you like to call it. It's, oh, it looks so good. Hopefully I can get you guys to see this really well. Okay, so obviously it's got a white backing, but it's going to be kind of translucent. Let's see if we can get it to peel up. I really need to start adding the thing where you like, it's scored so you can peel these stickers off easier because get a little difficult okay but see how it's like transparent <sighs> Ooh, it turned out so good so good so good okay so yeah that's the first one really cute pretty simple but really cute all right Ooh, okay so I saw a design very similar to the way that this uh, this is a snake and I really liked how they had it kind of like drawn like the shape of it. So I did something very similar. I only changed up a few things because I loved it so much. But then I thought when I had like actually drawn it out like a regular snake with scales and stuff that it just wasn't really what I was looking for. It was a little too plain. So this is a snake in a shape that I really loved. But then I added like ferns and moss and little tiny mushrooms and things. And I just thought it was really cool. It turned out great. Sometimes when you're doing these, your colors can be really off, but one of my favorite things about Sticker App, and they are in no way sponsoring this video, although they could if they wanted to, um, but yeah, I love the greens when they get printed at Sticker App. They're so pretty. Okay, two for two. All right, and these are, I saw a picture of some boots with like leaves and foliage and all that kind of stuff coming out of the top of them. And I don't know if you've seen my last boot, but it was kind of a little bit similar to my logo from back in the day when I really didn't know what my logo was going to be. But this is just kind of like a different take on that. And basically it's just some cute boots and you can see just a little bit of like skin back here because these are like a high top boot. And then some cute little 
mushrooms and leaves and stuff coming out. The colors turn out perfect. Three for three. I have people messaging me back and forth today. All right. So this one is a complete fever dream thing that I thought up a long time ago, I feel like. And then I saw some stuff very similar to it, um, I don't know, a while back, where it's like mushrooms growing out of crystals. I've actually seen it where like crystals are growing out of frogs, crystals, you know, like there's like a lot of this kind of thing going on. But these are one of my, uh, each one is like one of my favorite things. I love the Amanita mushroom, the red cap mushroom, mushroom. And then this is supposed to be like a piece of uh, citrine, which I have a piece of jewelry that's very similar to this and I really liked it. So I just kind of did my own take on that. This one is a fun one. I have never done anything clear or with like fun, yes, like fun stuff. So this is a holographic crow and it just says just crow brain things. And we all know how like crows like, you know, like shiny stuff and whatnot. It turned out so cute. That's even better than I could have imagined. I might have to send them a message and thank them. I mean, I know I designed them, but still, like, they turned out so good. Okay, this is the only reprint that I did last season. I had these at the other, like, at the back end of my, uh, like, in my fall season, I'm trying to say. Um, but this is just the Be Kind to All Kinds sticker. It's pretty big, but I wanted it for, like, laptops, water bottles. I mean, I really, that's what I make all of my stuff kind of like but I just um they sold really well and I never repurchased them and I wish that I had so I went ahead and added them to this order oh this one turned out cute too so uh if you are on my Etsy at all I do have a few digital download things there not a whole lot of stuff I don't really focus on that like I wish that I did but one of my favorite planner cards that I ever made was one that said hands in the dirt. So I wanted to kind of play off of that a little, but make it more kind of vintage. This like the, the frilly stuff here kind of makes me think of like the 1800s Victorian style, but it's, it says hands in the dirt, which I think is an important thing to do on a regular basis. Ooh, okay, so this was one of my favorites. Um, my grandma used to have, and it might even still be there, I need to ask my dad, but they used to have frogs that sat on these little posts in front of their driveway. And every so often they would repaint them and stuff. And I want to say that they were concrete. But when I looked up stuff to try and find things similar to them so I could like refresh my brain to learn to draw it, I kept coming up with like these metal ones and they were rusty. So I thought, oh my God, I'm just going to paint a rusty frog and use it like it's a planter. Cause the ones my grandma had, they weren't planters. They were just a little statue, but look how cute he turned out. He looks so rusty. Uh, this might be one of my favorites. It was one of my favorites when I drew it, but I wasn't sure how it was gonna translate into a sticker. And I'm really happy with that. Man, this is turning out so good. It was worth the wait. Oh, I'm very excited about this one. So my husband and I love bikes. Um, we got bikes when we got here. If you watch the older parts of the channel, you can see a couple of our like biking adventures. They're electronic bikes. Um, and we'll probably get those when we move back to the States too, because unfortunately we can't take these with us thanks to the battery laws. Um, but that's besides point. So this one is a really cute bike with some flowers. Like, you know, you've just parked it in the yard and turned it into like a cute little flower basket and it's kind of gone rusty. There's like some little rust parts on it. I just absolutely loved it. It also reminds me, I need, a, I need to put a picture up for you guys to see it if I can ever think to actually stop and take a picture. But there is a little cafe on the way off base, like towards uh, Camp Foster. And uh, so it's like, there's Camp Foster and then there's Kadena where I live. And in between there, there's a cafe with a little yellow moped and it's got flowers sticking out of the top of it. And it's the most adorable thing. So I wanted this bike to be yellow, kind of 
in a nod to that, though nobody would really know it if I didn't say that. Okay. All right, this is one of my clear ones, and I'm really excited for it because it looks kind of like, like if I could really completely redo my home, I would want it to look like the inside of like Sherlock Holmes's house, you know, where there's like terrariums and um, cloches with like stuff in it, like skulls and, you know, like sciency, but also like history. Does that make any sense? So anyway, I love stuff like this. That is a skull of a crow inside of like a, it looks kind of Victorian vintage like greenhouse, but you know, it's like a cloche or however you say that word. And it's clear, so you can see the white of the sticker backing, but if I can get this peeled up. But look, it's like, clear ah! it turned out so good okay I'm addicted I'm gonna have to make a bunch of clear stickers now there's no way around it I have one more clear sticker All right, and I'm saving the B for last because I want so badly for it to be done right and I'm worried <sighs> okay Oh yeah, this one turned out really good too. I can already tell because the greens are so good. So I was worried that the green of like the greenhouse outline and the green with all of the greenery on the inside was going to be too similar because I really wanted this to be, a, I wanted it to read a little more blue, but it doesn't, but it still reads really good. Okay, so let's take a look at it because it is also clear. Look at that. I hope you can tell. Like, look how... <sighs> Man. I'm pretty proud. I'm not gonna lie. It's good to toot your own horn when it's worth it. Okay. Now, the B. The B is the one... I could have just left it plain. I like the way I had designed it in Procreate before I uploaded it to uh, Sticker App. But... I really, really wanted it to be extra for whatever reason. I don't know. Oh, oh my God, it's cute. <gasps> Look. Okay, so when you upload the stickers, you have the option to add the, the effects and stuff like after you upload it. And it looks, it just gives you a preview of what the whole sticker looks like with your you know, whatever it is that you picked, your design. But in the comment section down below, you can tell them like, oh, I just want the wings to be sparkly. And look, they just holographed or glittered. I think this one's a glitter. Just the wings. <sighs> okay. I'm thrilled. I'm beyond thrilled. I really wish I could get this in the hands of all of you watching, unfortunately, because I'm not allowed to ship from my post office here, it really puts a damper on my stuff. Um, but this is the kind of thing that I want to be able to offer to everybody through a Patreon account as like a sticker and a postcard situation, uh, you know, later when I get back to the States. So some of these designs I will reprint just for that occasion. But then of course we're gonna do all new designs and uh, work on stuff together when we start building that Patreon uh, community. I will make sure to let you guys know when and if that is rolling out anytime soon. Right now, it just isn't, but I promise. It is something I would like to do. And if you guys could leave me a comment down below to let me know if that's something you're interested in, I would be really, really grateful. I just, um, I hate that it's such a small market here, even though I do really well and I really appreciate my local people, I would love to be able to start shipping stuff. So um, let me know what you guys think about the stickers. Definitely comment below what your favorite sticker was. Um, if you need to rewind this and watch back through them, there are 12 total if you count the reprint of this one. And I, I'm just so happy with things. So. I'm gonna stop rambling. I'll see you guys next week. We are going to be painting some wooden things. I may have mentioned these before. 
I just haven't gotten around to them. Look how cool this one is though. That's like a, a death head moth. Sorry, this light is really bright. Uh, death head moth. And then I want to eventually get around to revamping this cute little uh, jewelry box because I want to paint it all up and make it very goblin core. I think it'll be really cute. So that's going to be next week's video. I'm very, very busy this week catching up on emails and things. Um, according to my calendar, nearly every day between now and my next event on the 30th is pretty well booked. Um, I have meetings and all kinds of stuff. Oh, I also wanted to mention, and then I'll let you go, that I am going to be at the Kadena Gift Corner. For any of you who follow me that are local, I believe it's April 3rd that I'll have stuff on the shelf, but I'll put everything on my social media so you guys can check it out. And um, yeah, that's pretty exciting because I am teaching. I now have consignment in more than one location. I'm doing events. YouTube is happening and I'm hoping to eventually start a Patreon. So things are just really growing and I couldn't be happier. And it's all because of you guys. So uh, definitely leave me some comments below and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.